guys welcome back to my channel today I have a quick haul for you guys very few items that I picked up lately so let's get started okay so the first two items that I got is actually from the Victoria Beckham collection with Target so I got two things here's what I got the first item I got is actually this cute little peplum top and it's so cute this is the back and it's just a nice black and white peplum top I got it in a size small I really wanted to like this but it's too big it's very wide I feel like I needed an extra small in that so that is actually gonna get sent back I actually end up purchasing this the day after the collection launched on Target.com so keep on checking Target.com you might find items that you wanted people may be returning things so they restock it online even in stores you may find it I mean I doubt I'm gonna luck out again and find an extra small in this but you never know uh, the next item I got from the Target's collection is it's just this really pretty scarf it's really big and then it has the two flowers, which I thought was a pretty touch. And it has the white border. And it has, I don't know if that's her signature, but it has a signature there, which I thought was a cute touch. I'm not really crazy about this tag hanging at the end. I wish they would actually stitch the tag either on the front or the back because it's really annoying just hanging there. I mean, I guess I could cut it, but I thought that would be a more nicer touch if the tag was actually stitched on the scarf itself but it's still a really pretty scarf for twenty dollars i really wanted the bumblebee scarf but i could not find that to save my life i actually ended up purchasing it on ebay.com i bought it for 32 dollars so 12 dollars more than the retail price which it could be a lot worse honestly because some of her stuff currently is um, being priced by like $200 and it was $30 in stores so I feel like a $12 difference isn't too bad and it really is a nice material for the scarf really nice and silky um, the material it says is 100% polyester but it's really really nice it feels really luxurious like it doesn't feel like a $20 scarf if that makes sense and this is just a little tag and it just says Target and then it was $20. That peplum top, I don't know if I mentioned that, but that was $30. But I'm returning that one. I also got two other items from Target. Um, if you don't shop at Target, you should check it out. They have really cute items. I really like the collection there, Who, What, Where. So from that particular collection, I got this really nice summer top. I actually need to return it though, I'm so annoyed, I need smaller sizes. I did not do well in the sizes department this order, but this is the top, and it's just a nice little top. I love the sleeves, it's like crocheted sleeves, and then it has like a bell bottom at the end, super pretty. This is in a size medium, I thought I would need a medium because I'm kind of big chested on top. But I actually do need a small, so I'm going to go and exchange that for a small. But I thought that was really pretty with the nice detailing. And I got the same shirt in white. So this is the white one. And it's just so cute. Oh, it's really messing up the light in my camera. But this is the white one. See my idea? You can see the pattern better. It's like little crochet squares. Has the bell bottom. Really cute. It's kind of of a kind of a crop top, so it will stop right at your waist. Super cute. I got this in a medium as well. These were $27.99, so not bad for a nice cute summer top. And it's very well made. I feel like you could find something like this at Zara. So hey, if you like nice little tops check out target the next item i got is actually this little visor i got it from marshall's it was $7.99 it's from a brand called kabo if this is the same brand that make the handbags um i believe they're very uh pricey so for this to be $7.99 i was pretty shocked and it said it says off duty 
And it just looks so cute on, like in the summertime. I really like it. I mean, for $7.99, you can't go wrong. The only thing I will say is my head is kind of small. So when I, I tried it on with a bun, and it was like literally falling, falling through. So I don't know how this is going to work. I'm only going to be able to wear it with my hair down. But in the summer, it's hot. So who has their hair down? So I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I'm going to keep it. It's $7.99. I just need to figure out how I'm going to wear it when it's really hot. The next item I got is also from Marshalls. And if you know me, I'm not really a girl that wears shorts. In the summer, I wear a lot of dresses. Like, I just like to put one thing on and go. Uh, I don't wear a lot of shorts, but I've seen these kind of capri style. Uh, I guess capris from Marshalls. And they're from Calvin Klein jeans. And it's in a size 4. And they're just really cute. I really like the wash of them. They were $19.99. And this is the back. I don't really like patterns on the back of my jeans. But this has a slight pattern. Um, but yeah, they were really cute for $19.99. Why not? And um, yeah, I thought I would try those out. And they're not, like, they're a happy medium. They're not short, short. And they're not pants. So I figured that this would be a nice way for me to incorporate shorts into my wardrobe the next item i got is actually for the gym me i don't really work out i need to but i love like lounge and gym wear so they have these really cute uh workout capris at burlington and these were 21.99 it's in a size small and these are them it's just a nice like olive green color I love how it has the Tommy figure Tommy Hill figure um, words along the side these are the back and then it has the little Tommy logo right there in gray they're really cute they feel really nice on they're called the crop mid rise and they're just really nice I mean when I put them on they don't really look like capris I'm 5 7 so if you're shorter than that it's gonna look like pants but I really do like them and I got that the next item I got is actually from the H&M studio collection so I got two items from that I'll show you this one I actually got on sale maybe the collection wasn't doing as well but I know this was $79.99 because when I seen it in the stores I was like oh that's super cute but I wasn't willing to pay $80 for it but it went down to $29.99 so I thought I would pick it up and this is in a size 2 and it's just this really pretty top it has the slits on the side so it's really cute and then it says love I don't know if you guys can see that but the lettering on it like where you see the black, black stripes that says love like it says it keeps repeatedly saying love it's just really really cute I thought it would be really nice and I'm really excited to wear this. The next item I got, I absolutely love. I did not get this one on sale. Um, but it's just this really pretty white top. It really looks nicely made. I feel like it looks like it's worth more than what I actually paid. This was $59.99. I got this in a two as well. And it's just this really pretty white top. And then the bottom is ruffled it's just so cute and it's super wrinkled because I had it in my closet and I had like a dust bag over it so it kind of got crumbled and then look at the back this is my favorite part the back has like this nice little slit so when you wear it you get a little peek of your back and it's just so pretty so nicely made I feel like this could definitely be like a high-end blouse that you get from Bloomingdale's or something really really pretty really nicely made and I feel like it was worth the price of $59.99 but if you see it now maybe it's on sale I doubt you will though I haven't I haven't seen any of these in the sales section I feel like these were one of the items that sold pretty quick but yeah super excited to wear that the next item I got is actually from forever 21 I really love this jacket I remember seeing it and thinking I want that jacket. It was 
um, at the time I didn't want to spend that price but then it ended up going up on sale and then they had like an extra 50% off so I got this jacket for $12 so $12 for this jacket it's in a size small a really really cute studded jacket jean jacket and then it just has these nice little studs with stars on it so cute it's gonna look so cute on I can't wait to wear this and yeah I thought this was super cute for only 12 bucks like how good is that $12 for this jacket guys so if you're interested in this jacket check out forever 21 I bought it online the sell section I believe it's still there so check it out I don't know if you're gonna get it for 12 bucks because I when I purchased it it was on sale and then you get it was like 20 something then you get an additional 50% off the sale price so that was super good they may have some sales though right now because Easter is coming Easter is tomorrow so I'm filming this Saturday so Easter is tomorrow so they probably have some sort of sale going on so you may be able to get it for a cheaper price I don't know it's cheaper as I got it but still I feel like it's still worth it well, the next item I got is actually this really cool faux leather jacket it's from forever 21 as well and it's just this nice it's, it's really thick this nice thick faux leather and it has these really cute patches like it says all oh, the hashtag sign some eyes I know everyone's been seeing these patched eyes everywhere with silver hardware I mean I'm usually a gold girl I really like gold but the silver on this jacket is a nice touch I feel like gold probably would have been a little bit too much so I really do like the silver and the regular price of this was $47.90 and I got it for $16 so $16 from this jack for this jacket at Forever 21 I feel like that was an amazing price it's in a size small and then the back has patches as well so the back it says goodbye no and hello and then it has look with the two eyes so I thought this was super cute for the price and it's really nice it has the little zippers on the end I don't really like this part because it looked like a belt is supposed to be here but a belt doesn't come with it so I really don't like that I wish they would have kind of left that out but that's on the back and the front so I thought this was super cute so if you're interested in this jacket it was from Forever 21 and it was 16 bucks but as I said before that was when I got the additional 50% off so it may be a little bit more expensive now but if you like it I feel like it's really well made why not um, next two items I got it's just two polishes I got them from Marshalls and if you know Marshalls TJ Maxx those little stores they always have like name brand polishes um, so the two I decided to pick up because I have so many this one is called Susie Nell's New Orleans and it's just a pretty pink color looks very pretty on I can't wait to try this one and then this one is act your beige I really like this name and it's just a nice like white um, color it's not an opaque white like more of a sheer white I feel like this would look nice with like a nice French manicure or even alone if you like more of a natural look. So I got these. They were $3.99 each which is not bad because OPI retails from $8 to $10 so that was super good for that price. The next item I got is actually from Marshalls and it's just this cute little Calvin Klein bag. I thought it was so cute. It's not real leather. I feel like this is, it feels like it, it's a canvas material and it just says Calvin Klein in gold and it has these really nice chunky gold hardware at the end and then a really nice tan strap. So it, it's very nicely made. I really do like it. This was $39.99 and I feel like it's a nice bag that you could just throw on and go. A lot doesn't fit in it so it'll prevent you from carrying your whole life. And that's just the tag, the $39.99 tag. And then it has a little extra zipper in there. So I feel like that's that's reasonable for a Calvin Klein bag. 
and it has like the original tag thing here and it was $78 and I know it's still this price because I've seen it on Macy's so if you're looking for a cute little bag try Marshalls because they have nice name brand ones and they're still like ones that are out currently so you're getting like an up-to-date bag for half the price two items I got are actually card holders so I'll just show you this one is from Fossil I feel like it's really cute. My mom actually purchased it for me. I'm not sure how much it was, but it's fossil. And um, she got it from Macy's, I believe. So this is just cute. I love little things like this because sometimes I just don't feel like carrying a bag at all. So it has a little section. This comes up. You can put your cards here. And then it has a little zipper compartment. So this, this is great because cards could go into it, money could go into it. It's really cute. The regular, it says $40, but I'm sure she didn't spend that much. But check out Macy's. You'll be able to see the price there. And it just has some nice, like a nice cream border at the top. I really actually like this. So there that goes and I usually I usually style up like my little card holders with like a little cute keychain I'll show you what the next card holder but I put like a little cute keychain just to make it a little bit more you know cute so that's that from Fossil the next two is actually from Victoria's Secret I had two coupons from there and I figured I should use them before they expire so I ended up getting this card holder, which is so cute. It's just the signature Victoria's Secret print, the stripes, dark pink and light pink. I really like it. Then it has a compartment here where you can put cards. And then it has two in the back, which is really, really cute. So I got that one. And this was actually, um, the regular price says it's 14 but I got them for like 9 bucks because they were 40% off, so $8.40. I uh, also got this hot pink one. I really like it and it's like a, a alligator print of, of some sort on it. This one, the chain is gold. This was 14 as well and same same effect. A compartment, you can put the keys in the middle, I mean your cards in the middle and you could put your cards in the back. Really, really cute for 840. I feel like you can't go wrong with these things if you don't want to carry your whole wallet. You're going somewhere really quick. I feel like that's a nice way to go. As far as styling them, I showed this in a video a while back, but my boyfriend actually got me this, and it's this really cute Tommy Hilfiger keychain, and it's just a black leather keychain with the gold hardware and top with the Tommy sign. So how I would style it is I would do something like this, just clip it on to here, and it just looks so cute. You just have a nice little key holder that you just if you threw it in your bag, it would be easy to find. You just take it out or with the other one. I'll show you guys with the fossil one. Since the fossil one is black, so see with the fossil one, it looks a lot cuter. Yeah, you could just do that to style up your accessories. The last item I got, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Is, um, I don't know how to pronounce the name. I think it's called Dern Dorney and Burke. This is like a brand that I feel like people were wearing years ago. I mean, I know they still have things, but this print I know definitely is old. But it's just a colorful, colorful little wristlet. And it has the little cute keychain on the side. I love that detailing of it. Then this is the back. It has like a compartment that you could put things in. This was $19.99. I mean, it's not bad for this brand, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I bought it originally to put my phone in and it does fit but it just fits so if I keep this it's like the only thing I'm going to be able to put in here is my phone so I'm not really sure I mean I like it but will it really be useful I'm not sure especially I'm also thinking about um, upgrading to the iPhone plus 7 plus eventually so it's like when I get that this is going to definitely be obsolete so I don't know if I'm going to keep this I really do like it though Okay guys, that is the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I showed you. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.